Wednesday morning to my family. This is Pastor Chris Cook with the New Life Minute. And I remember back in 10th grade, I went to a high school in Texas, and I had a coach as a teacher, and he would make you sing George Strait if you were late to his class. And uh, I never have forgotten uh, the, the lyrics to the song, Carrying Your Love With Me, or Write This Down. Little did I know I would become a George Strait fan later in life. But anyway, I've learned this, that it is better to be punctual. It's better to be on time. Matter of fact, my dad always told me if you're on time, you're late. It's better to show up a little bit early. And it made me think about this parable of the 10 virgins. Man, there's so much that you can get out of it. it I'm in the version of uh, uh, Matthew's gospel, Matthew chapter 25. And there is a lot going on in this passage, but I'll try to sum it up for you. You have five wise maidens or virgins, and then you have five foolish virgins. Now, the wedding supper it, that they're waiting for, obviously, is the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? The kingdom of God uh, is coming to physically manifest. But what is the oil? You know, five didn't have enough oil to make it through the night, and five did. Now, the five that did, they represent a Christian whose life is sharp, right? They are doing good works. They are Their faith is active in Christ. They are full of the Holy Spirit, and they're doing this thing, and they're walking with the Lord. But then you have people who, uh, the five foolish ones, maybe they have claimed Christ in the past, but they're not walking with him. They're not full of the Holy Spirit. They're not full of the Word of God, and they're not their faith isn't active. They're not working uh, in the Christian faith to further the kingdom of God. And I just want to be like the five wise ones. I want to be on time. I want to have my wick trimmed. I want to have my, my oil tank full. Amen. I want to have my lamp burning bright when the Lord comes back. And I just want to encourage some of you. Maybe you've been, you've been on the fence. Maybe you visited New Life. Maybe you've taken this time to step away from church, or maybe you've taken this time to do some things that you wanted to do and you've slowly kind of walked away from Jesus, I just want to encourage you, now is the time to stay close to Jesus. Now is not the time to depart. You need to be listening for what God has for you, what he wants to communicate for you in this season, what he wants you to do for the kingdom in this season. It is such an important time. So Check that out. Matthew chapter 25, the first 13 verses, I believe it is. You will be blessed. And guess what? When we start having meetings again, come on, I want to see some people showing up on time. Praise God. I hope you have an incredible Wednesday. God bless you.